Assalamualaikum dear students. Welcome back to Learn Daily Physics and today you can see that we are going the time varying electric field topic 2.5. Let's have a look on F Chen book. So this is our topic time varying magnetic field it is 2.6 and this is time varying electric field 2.5 the topic what we are going to do today and what we will find today is this vp polarization drift and i will tell you the physical meaning of this polarization drift how this polarization drift come and uh, so you you have to if you look in this equation this is de by dt so from this equation we can say that when there is a change in time when we take a changing time in electric field when electric field is changing with respect to time then this vp arises okay uh, otherwise this vp is zero we don't have any vp when d of e is constant with respect to time how to drive this we will move on toward this but uh, from this equation you have to first thing you have to keep in your mind that polarization drift only come when we have time varying electric field so let's see that let's move on toward our derivation now so first of all in our derivation i've told you that magnetic field is constant magnetic field is not varying with respect to time 2.6 is the case where magnetic field line is varying so the first case we have in the time varying electric field is that magnetic field lines magnetic field is zero and uh, ele electric field is varying with respect to time now we have taken this e of x because previously you have seen that uh, the same diagram previously for uh, varying electric field uh, uh, where it was varying with respect to position not with respect to time but this time it's varying with respect to time so e of x is equals to e naught this is an equation for a propagating wave okay as we are only taken in previous case when we were taking the position variation when we were take, talking about the position variation this omega t was zero and it was iota k of x e was equals to iota k of x but this time because we are talking about time variation this x will go to this x term will go to zero and our wave function will be like this for electric field e of x is equals to e naught e iota omega t this is a propagating wave function now what we will do we will take the time derivative of this equation this omega t iota omega t in power will come in here and uh, we know lorentz force we will separate lorentz force as we did before so we will separate their components x component y component z component respectively here so after doing that if i am a quite fast for you first write this topic these steps you have to write these steps after writing this step understand what i've said okay then move on pause video understand move on pause video if i'm moving fast okay i try my best to uh, tell you every step in detail and uh, i i care that you're writing you have to write these equations but you can pause my video and write and then you can understand what i'm trying to say okay so these equations are just like before we have done we have already we are doing from our first topic so now what we are going to do is we are going to take the time der time derivative of this equation one when we will take the time derivative of this equation one and multiply this q over m here let's find out a proper multiplying here and make a new form of this equation so this is v of x dot and this v of x dot we multiply this q, q over m inside with this term and this term it will become this and uh, this is the cyclotron frequency we put the value of a cyclotron frequency then what we will do we will take the time derivative of this equation when we will take the time derivative of this equation now 
we have uh, this term and v y of dot here which we also have derived in equation number two this is v y of dot in equation number two so putting this value from equation number two in here we will get this equation solving this equation putting this cyclotron frequency multiplying inside and uh, everything uh, it, this, these are the simple steps the final equation we will have will be like this okay so now we know that e x dot we already calculated this here e x dot first this e x dot is equals to this term okay and this term here iota omega and this term e naught e power iota omega t is equal to this term okay is equal to this term here when it is equal to this term we can put e of x here instead of these two terms we can write this term from this above equation so this e x dot can be written as iota omega e of x and this e of x is this one putting in equation 3 putting here here we are going to put this equation from this equation our this equation number 3 will turn out to be equation number 4 so this is our half of our step is done okay i told you to to split every question in steps so half step is done now you have to keep step by step every question you should have to remember in there in your brain that first we have to find out this value this value comes out to be like this then we have to find that value that value comes out to be like this if you know that first you have to find this value you will find out this value and you will move on huh now you am i have to find this then step by step you can do all the question okay all of your question will be done by step by step okay so now half of our step is done moving on toward next is equation number two this equation okay this is our first uh, equation number one and this is equation two now we are going to t take the time derivative of this equation two when we will take the time derivative of this equation two what we will have we will have this equation with vx dot simply from equation one now we are going to put this value from equation one and putting this value from equation one let's say this value here here you can see we have put in the vx dot value here and the equations come out to be equation number five come out to be like this this is our equation number five so our first step is done now okay now in my next lecture first step we should keep our lecture till here and in our next lecture i will tell you that what is polarize polarizing drift in this this equation from this equation you can see that this is a polarization polarizing drift okay polarization drift you can say this is the polarization drift and how this is a polarization drift where it comes from why it comes from so we will talk about this in our next lecture to till that assalamu alaikum and thank you very much for your time